Hi, my name is Bianca Stumpf and welcome to History 222, American History 2 here at Campbell University. I thought I would take an opportunity to create a screencast narration for you that just walks you through some of the course to help you get oriented to what to expect this semester in our class. You'll see that I've logged into Campbell University's Blackboard and I will mention when you're on your home page to always pay special attention to the announcements. The announcements are where I will provide updates about resources that I've posted as well as indications that your work is graded. You can go and check out your progress and see my tailored feedback. And if there are any downtimes or outages or other announcements specific to the university, I would make those for you here. You'll notice that the opening announcement will always be a welcome. And I'd ask that you read all announcements carefully, this first one being no exception. For week one of this class, I ask you to review our course site and to participate in a course orientation. And so what I'll do now is walk you through some of those elements. You'll see here that I mentioned that you should visit the syllabus and text button, as well as the course contact and the course info and orientation. We're going to begin by clicking on the course info and orientation button. And you will see here week one's task is this very orientation I've referenced. Your first step will be to go and look at some of the Campbell University online education resources. Your second step will be to review the course syllabus, calendar, and the other materials I've posted under our syllabus and text button. And then the final step in the orientation will be to participate in a virtual discussion, a discussion board, excuse me, discussion board forum on getting to know you and America. So I'm going to assume for this video that you would check out number one independently. For number two, I want to walk you through some elements of the syllabus and text. So I'm going to click on the syllabus and text button. And you'll notice, of course, that the very first thing that launches is a course syllabus. Each course syllabus is going to be built, of course, with the template Campbell University provides. And I'd have you note that at the beginning of any syllabus of mine, you would see my email and my phone number. Though this is a virtual class, by all means, I encourage you to reach out with me for questions that are unresolved or concerns you have. I want you to be equipped to be successful in the class. You see the course description, student learning outcomes, my availability, our required textbook, attendance policy from the university, and also I would note in a syllabus you can see how this course grade will be determined, as well as my procedures for late work. This is incredibly important to review. As you know, as a college student, each instructor has different expectations for how deadlines are carried out, and so I would encourage you to notice about what things are accepted late and which things are not. Expectations for the course, communications, other information that is relevant to the entire Campbell University experience, and at the close, the very end of the syllabus, perhaps one of its most important pieces for you is our course calendar. In any given semester, I will create a schedule that looks like the one you see displayed here. Week one is that orientation we're talking about. You'll see that week two is unit one, week three, unit two, four, unit three. By the fifth week, we're ready for our midterm exam. The sixth week is unit four, the seventh week, unit five, and finally, by the eighth week, you will have arrived to the final exam and the successful completion of our course. Again, I just encourage you to become familiar with this, download it, it's available in both Word and PDF, come back to it, mark it in your phones or in paper calendars so you make sure you meet those deadlines. 
As alluded to above, I do not accept quizzes and discussion boards late, so it's really important that the dates that are assigned are fixed in your priorities. I do accept some papers late, but at a penalty, so to get your best possible grade, um, you're going to be giving me that information to review promptly. The other thing I have posted under the syllabus and text button is a set of tutorials both in Word and PDF for using a software, a website, that we will use frequently in this class. We will use SAS Curriculum Pathways for four of our five regular units of study. I like to use this website because it creates an interactive experience. You get to watch closed captioned videos as secondary sources for topics we investigate in this course. You also get to interact physically and manipulate and hear audios of documents and other primary sources from the material that we're studying. And you use the integrated experience to then create your papers on topics like should Johnson escalate troops in, this, in the Vietnam War or should John Rockefeller's Standard Oil Monopoly Trust be busted. Many of you are digital natives. You know how to use websites only seeing the password here is enough for you to move forward. But these resources and these step-by-step -step picture tutorials are available if you find that you need a refresher or some assistance navigating this website, this interactive program that we'll use for four of our five units. To go back to the course info and orientation, after you've reviewed that material, you'll notice that your third and final step is to participate in a virtual discussion. Our virtual discussions in this class are available under the virtual discussions button, and you'll see here the orientation getting to know you in America. For any of the discussion boards we do for units in this course, as you see here, to post, you simply click on the name of the forum, Click to create a thread, post a subject and your message content, and then click Submit. The virtual discussions is our way to simulate an engaging interaction and dialogue between classmates. So make sure that you're not only respectful, but that you're complete and analytical in your responses. And I'll be monitoring these, of course, and I'll give you feedback and you earn part of your course grade from your virtual discussion participation. Once you've done those things, once you've reviewed Campbell's website information, once you've checked out the course syllabus and the other materials posted under the syllabus and text button, and finally, once you have submitted your participation in the Getting to Know You in America discussion board forum, under the virtual discussions button, you will have completed week one, a manageable way to get a preview of the course. I would also note in this orientation screencast the course contact button. In addition to the syllabus, this is a place where you can go to find out how to reach out to me and some things about me personally. And of course, since it is an American history class, my appropriate picture here is in New York City two summers ago when I saw Brian Cranston portray Lyndon Johnson in the Tony Award winning performance of Lyndon Johnson in All the Way, um, Johnson and the Passage of the Civil Rights Act. I want to turn quickly to the Content and Assignments button. This is the material that you will most often use in our semester together. While I will make individual quick, quicker screencasts for each major unit, I just want to show you what you would find under contents, Content and Assignments. Much of the feedback I provide is in Microsoft Word, so you see that here, a tutorial for you to see those comments if you're unfamiliar. Also, students often want to know what A work looks like, and so I have posted a paper with a former student's permission who admittedly did what I wrote here, knocked a home run on the paper on African Americans in the New Deal. As you scroll down, you'll see the week one reference to the orientation requirement here, and then beginning in week two, you tackle a unit each time. midterm exam. And the midterm exam, rather than having its material on this button where you'll spend so much of your time, 
has its own distinct button. And then finally, after week five, the final exam concludes the course, and like the midterm exam, it will have its own distinct button. In any given unit, when you click, you will see the reading and self-assessment. You'll see videos that are closed captioned on the topics to be studied. You'll see online lectures from lecture points on a variety of topics that include maps, photo, and artwork, and other primary sources to accentuate the main ideas of each topic. I've also crafted for each unit something called Common Misconceptions and Difficult Topics. This is where I think about the major controversies of our material and give you some sort of guiding thinking about some of those unresolved or debatable issues. So for example, the duration of Reconstruction. Were Gilded Age presidents party tools or did they act independently? This question of a noble savage and the depiction of American Indians in literature. And then finally, the Great Plains Indian as a prototypical Native American. How we always think teepees and wigwams and buffalo, when in fact that is just one of the distinct cultures of, of American Indians. And finally, once you've reviewed the reading, the self-assessment, the videos and lectures, what you actually produce for your grade in each given unit will be a quiz based on the course reading and lectures, a discussion board participation or blog. The discussion boards will be available under virtual discussions, and then a written response. And for each written, res written response, you will click on the link, see a PDF and Word version of the assignment, open it, and then when you're ready to submit, you would submit your assignment here on the name of that given written assignment through a feature in Blackboard called the Assignment Feature. So again, just to reiterate, I'll be making videos about each of these individual weeks, but this is where you will spend the bulk of your material and how the content of the class and its assignments are organized. The last for me to mention is the final button in this area, the History on the Web button. This is a place where I've gathered with student assistants over the years a variety of websites based in topic largely that can help you with your writing assignments, can help you with your virtual discussion, your forum and blog participation, and could also help you if you just find that there's a topic that interests you personally. The library button is going to bring you to the special resources set aside for online ed students at Campbell. Grades and feedback is where you'll see my scores that are provided based on your work. You'll click on those, drill down to get specific to you comments each time. A button for sending email to me. And then finally, a help button where if you're unsure about the technology employed in this class and the use and function of Blackboard, you can go here for assistance. There's a lot that I've shared in this 15-minute video, but I hope it provides just a sort of a guided tour, if you will, of our course. And I look forward to reviewing your work, getting to share my passion, which is American history with you, and interacting with you via phone and email. All right. Your job now is to go on to the course info and orientation. Best wishes.